hey guys so I've had a good day I talked to a really close friend of mine back home and uh, she'd actually found out I was coming home early before I got a chance to tell her so that was kind of fun she was all excited and we have a tradition every year we go to Toronto Pride together. Toronto Pride is the best party ever. So while we were chatting I went on to the web to find out when it was because I'm a little disorganized like that. And I found out that the parade is on Sunday, the day after I get back to Toronto. And we always go out the night before so the Saturday night, tons of festivities. We always get into a little bit of trouble. And then we go to the parade on Sunday. And usually every year I drive over to her city and pick her up and drive back. She'll stay over for the weekend and we will party. And then I'll drive her back on usually Sunday night, Monday morning. But I don't know if that's going to work this year because I haven't been able to reach my family to find out what's going on with the car situation. So, I don't know how I'm going to get her to Toronto. I might, I mean, she's really broke right now, so she can't afford to get there. So I might end up calling the bus station where she lives seeing if I can get her a ticket on my credit card and her pick it up on Saturday morning which would be awesome to be able to see her the same day I get back to Toronto ah it's so good it's gonna be a really good summer I've already uh, talked to some of my friends back home made a couple of plans it's gonna be great yeah this girl, I'd do anything for her. I mean, she's my best friend. She's been there through a lot of rough times. And yeah, she gets a lot of credit for that. And I'm debating whether to talk about this because it's really about her life. But I'm kind of, I'm really happy about it. But if I don't tell the whole story and get all into it, I'm going to sound like a huge bitch. I didn't do anything, but I'll just sound bitchy about someone else. So maybe I won't tell it, because I've been having trouble making a blog that's kind of semi-reasonable in time today. Oh, I've been just... And I'm getting... This is like completely off topic, but I'm getting a, uh, a little concerned, because that night out, like, a month ago, um, I burned my face with my cigarette. Yeah, I'd had a little to drink. I with my uh, kung fu reflexes, I smashed a cigarette into my face. And the mark hasn't completely gone away yet, so I'm afraid it might scar. And yeah, I'm getting a little concerned about that. We'll see, we'll see. Eh, another scar. Another scar is just another day, right? Yeah, I have lots of scars. But you know what? Scars tell stories about your life. So, I think in that way, they just, they're little explanations. They're like tattoos or piercings. point to a scar and tell the story or maybe you've learned something from it. Some mine I've learned from. And other ones are just there. I'm all serene. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run along. I'm going to run along and uh, see you guys later.
lovely all. Love you all.